Why? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogwood333, and welcome back to Archers of Iron 4, Cold War, the Iron Curtain mod. Last time we played as Qatar. Why we played as Qatar? Well, why not? Why aren't you playing as Qatar? Why aren't we playing as Qatar again? Well, I already played as Qatar, so I don't want to do that again. Because there are other countries to play other than Qatar. Qatar. So that's my reasoning, but why haven't you played Qatar yet? Anyway, enough about Qatar. Let's talk about a new country. A new, uh, new scenario in 1949. The Republic of Korea. Finally free of both U.S. and Japanese occupation, the newly established Republic of Korea was hopeful for peaceful reunification with their separated countrymen above the 38th parallel. But after the suspicions, suspicious assassination of the only senior politician willing to negotiate with the North and the staunch anti-communist Lee Seung Man winning the presidency, the hope was what that hope was waning fast. The U.S. may have handed control over the keys, but neither Korea is in control. With both republics claiming the peninsula. Conflict is inevitable. Isn't that the question, Kalinka? Um, is that? No, no, I have to. Okay, I understand now. Oh, frames. There we are. Um, do I want to do anything? Want? wonky or wacky. I think I'll do historical AI focuses as well as hope that the game doesn't crash right now because Jesus those frames are slow. Um, there we go. Uh, yep. Uh, is it close your Google? Oh, shit, I guess I. Okay, that's better. I hope I don't have to close my Streamlabs, otherwise, it's gonna completely defeat the point. I just have to record this offline then. But, and so far, so good. I'm sup, I'm back three hours later. Welcome back. How was your three hour break? It's a three hour break sounds pretty nice to me right now, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could have a three hour break. Well, not good, it's 2.30 in the morning, I can't sleep. Oh no! That is not good. Yeah, my, my uh, condolences there. Um, Jesus Christ, this is taking a long time to start, isn't it? Um, yeah, uh, if you're... War there we go. Uh, I going to talk about the 24-hour stream, but... Anyhow. So. Here we are, South Korea. A lot of industrialized or already developed regions all out right let's take a look at what we're starting with right now our president is Singman Rhee what mod is this this is Cold War the Iron Curtain one of like 20 4 mods 
uh, that have been around about the Cold War, but this is the one that's the biggest and actually updated at this point. So, anyway, we're led by Sigmund Rhee, who has corrupt ways, it's a ruthless tyrant, a fierce anti-communist, and a capitalist modernizer. Sigmund Rhee became president of the Republic of Korea in 1948. A convert to Christianity, Rhee spent many years advocating for Korean independence in the United States and at international conferences. He spent decades outside Korea, but following the end of the war, war, World War II, he returned to his homeland. His familiarity with the United States enabled him to secure their support in the campaign to become president. And many conservative Korean nationalists joined his cause. A strident anti-communist, Rhee refuses to negotiate with the North. Since he became president, he's overseen a campaign of repression targeting communist, but also all forms of dissent to his rule. Yeah, it's a pretty cool one. You cannot have any tabs open while you're playing it, though. I found out it almost crashed when I had that open. So we have government corruption. We also have a legacy of Japanese occupation, which is bringing us down a little bit. But, eh, there we go. We can go ahead and select a national focus. And I think our best bet might be to Why are we doing research wise? We have two research slots. Certainly not the best, but a bit working on a little bit of that. Some World War II computers, honestly, that's probably the best bet. We have free civilian factories. Let's get working on. We have enough state infrastructure around here, although we could. I mean, we need. We don't have any there, but I don't know if that's really needed over in that part. Let's go ahead and build some water infrastructure in Seoul. Railways, how are we doing? Infrastructure wise. Go and build that railway as well. In fact, we'll probably get that going right now. So we might need that railway connection a little bit sooner than we do the water. Honestly speaking. Um. What I think I will want to go ahead and do is we'll rush down the army tree, get rid of uh, Legacy of the Occupation, and then take it from there. So let's start with Dia Hakamun Gukyun. As a young nation, we must prepare our military to face against foreign threats. Focuses here actually have descriptions, which is more than uh, Qatar had. So already off to a slightly better start, I suppose. We got infantry equipment. Is there anything that we need to start manufacturing? Um, so um, artillery might be good. Mm, do we have support equipment? We do have support equipment. There we go. And then ships. I get those convoys going. Just some basic training. I honestly don't know what we need or what are good templates or anything, so we'll just kind of play that by ear. For Field Marshal, we'll go with uh, Cheong Il Kwan. And for a General, we'll go with. Mm, we'll do Pike Son Yup. Also, apologies to any uh, Koreans who are watching right now, or anyone who speaks Korean. I clearly don't. I'm trying my best, but I barely speak English sometimes. And I'm about, I haven't slept in a while, and I'm doing a 24-hour a stream uh, when I'm recording this right now. So, I'm doing my best, but I don't know how best, how my best realistically is, so I do apologize if I'm butchering it. I'm trying my best. Um, I'd ask for feedback or help, but honestly, by the time this is up, I'm not 
gonna, gonna be rec this is all gonna be pre-recorded by the time it's up. So I'll take any help for future reference, but that's unfortunately all we can do is make sure I don't butcher the pronunciations in the future. But yeah, um, I think that's all we have for the start for setup. So let's get going. Do doctrines off the bat. Trader addiction. I think Spear of Firepower should be the best. Should be the play here. Honestly, I don't know if I like having a straight front line right there. I mean, honestly, if I remember my Korean War history correctly, which I, I'd like to think I do, uh, it's not going to start off very well for us. And the one time I saw the Korean War in this mod, first off, well, it happened like 55 or something like that, so it took a, it was very belated. But the North absolutely fucking steamroll, so I want to do at least a little bit of a bro's gonna LARP. I don't know if it's straight LARP, but I want to be a little uh, protective of what this is gonna end up being. So, do fallback line, probably for Uncheon. Just your soul a little bit. Kind of do it based off like this river in into the mountains. Can't quite select the area right there. Um. But yeah, I think that's my plan for now, at least. Literally, 1984. Sorry, I had to make that joke. And we have the peace in Burma, of course. Okay, let's get running down the South Korean military. The armed forces and military must be made, a, made strong to combat the defense of our country. Our conscription and training must be heavily increased to compensate. Greek Civil War's ended. Kingdom of Greece stands. Turkey's going to be joining NATO soon, I'm guessing. Which is not actually technically in a union. Or like a faction. Like we know it. Which is an interesting way to model it, and I, I like how they do that. But, yeah. Um, our economy's growing at a pretty nice pace already, although we start off with debt. not the best necessarily but that's something we can overcome we'll reuse Japanese war caches the occupying Japanese forces strategically buried wet caches of weapons and explosives during the Second World War faced by our new threat to the North the RK arm will accept us and use these caches to equip our men so South Jung song which should be right well actually it's here oh uh, that's actually going to work very well of Shanghai, another blow to the KMT. That's gonna work pretty well for us, actually. Just because, uh. Well, yeah. Um, historically speaking, we got put. Uh, Korea got pushed into about. Here, even like. I think maybe here. Or here, I forget exactly where. Before the Americans invaded here to uh, help them out. So the fact that we'll have it a bit more. We'll have a bit more room to work with here. They conquered everything except Busan. Okay, so it was over here. I knew it was somewhere in the south. But yeah. I'm not the most experienced with Cold War than Aaron Curtin, so I'm just going to be trying our best here. Let's see what we can do. Also, it looks like I'm going to want to get working on some of this. So I'll start putting my political power into all that. Do 
the basic military structure. Cease fire in Java. We also might want to up our uh, manpower limited inscription. Radio for Europe, very interesting. It's gonna be historical, so I think we, we have a couple of years still before this all kicks off. So let's get some American small arms. In addition to our Japanese weapons, we accept the receipts of small arms from the US, including M1 Garands and older model M1903 Springfield rifles. We've got free military factories now. Let's go ahead and get stockpile on artillery. So that's Bobyong Sedans. Probably not how you say it, but that's not going to say it. Start getting twitting what's going. Missing equipment. Medium toed artillery. Oh, we mean medium, not light. Okay. Didn't realize there's a difference in artillery. Do we not have medium artillery? Oh, there you go. It's just towed artillery. No, well, we need to catch up on our artillery slowly, but hopefully we'll have time to get it all equipped and set up. In fact, we have another factory that we can put towards building all that. So we'll get to that. Founding New China. Very interesting. Once we get done with our military tree, we'll probably get working down the Sigmund Re administration. U.S. Alliance will give us some nice stuff, but I don't know if that's going to be exactly what we need off top. So the more schools will be nice. Might rush down that quickly and then get working on the Re administration. American small arms done. Next, we'll buy American Sherman tanks. Our modern, f our armored forces are in serious need of improvement. We will receive a modern variant of famous American M4 Sherman Easy Medium tanks, equipped with a new HVSS sup suspension system. We will vanquish our enemies. select these states, but it's not letting me do it. Apparently can't develop these areas. Okay. We got Incheon over here. Um... Can't go up much further than that. That should be okay. Um, let's get working on a nominal medical system. Yeah, here we go. Any um, uh, chat? How are you all doing out there? I am. Um, I'm doing okay. I forget if I said this already, because I'm very tired, but we're about nine and a half hours into this 24-hour stream. I was saying that I was going to do all of this stream in one go. Ooh. It's most relevant to us. 
The Korean Workers Party was officially announced following the merge of the Workers Party of Korea with the Workers Party of South Korea. This latest act continues the consolidation of communist leadership across him around Kim Il-sung. This comes after the recent party congress declared North Korea a bastion of democracy and approved the constitution independent establish an independent united Korea with Seoul as its capital. Of one party appears North Korea is finalizing his efforts to lay the groundwork for unification of Korean Peninsula under communist rule. An Asian people's democracy. Let's get new war tactics going. Our land force doctrine should be based on the modern times, not the legacy of Jap Japanese occupation. We set our differences aside and confront our threat with the North. But yeah, so... Mine's going a little bit at this point, I'm not gonna lie, but it's coming along okay, uh, the stream. I'm debating whether or not taking a nap would go against the, uh, the merits of this whole 24-hour stream. Like, I'd still be going on. I have no idea what I'm going to do for Susan, I'll be honest. I was hoping they had guides. I offered to do Susan with the idea that I have a guide to follow. Um, granted, I didn't really follow the, the guide you sent me too much last time, but... Yeah, still. Wall of Indochina go red? Oh no. <sighs> Getting a little chilly. Republic of China in Taiwan. Yep. Not surprised there. Oh my god, TNO reference? <laughs> um. No, not the brain rot. Observers of the North Korean People's Army note with concern the recent building of a personality cult and extensive surveillance structure within the force. Loyalty appears focused on Kim Il-sung and political officers are said to be very active in ensuring both loyalty and education to Marxist-Leninism. Brushing off such criticism, a senior North Korean official declared the KPA was being transformed into disciplined worker revolutionary force devoted to peace and not forced enslaved by dictators or brought by imperialist money. Yeah, sure. We got new war tactics done. Let's go ahead and pay off our debt. I'd rather not have any debt. If I can avoid it. Anyways, BRB, I'll go ahead and end the video here while you're away. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. Like this video if you liked, dislike if you didn't. If you have any comments, feedback, and concern, leave in the comment section below. I read all the comments I get and I appreciate any and all feedback you may have for me. If you want to keep up to date with these uploads, uh, hit the sub button. I do uploads weekdays as well as occasionally Saturdays. If you want to go ahead and uh, check out my various links, including the Twitch, which this was filmed on live. Um, all those will be down in the description box below. I thank you as always for watching, my friends. My name has been Mr. MrDogBot333, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye now.